So continuing on with our original program that we will have done in the, the last video, which works out what the value is if you multiply by two, what I want to show you is that you can find the power by using something called math.power. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say double. I'm going to create a new variable called the power of, and we're going to say equals math.how, and I'm going to use my number, and I want to know the power of two. Now, what I can do here, I can say dot count console dot write line my number plus to the power of two is, I'm going to use that variable now. So what's happened here is whatever number was typed in is going to work out what it is to the power of two, and it's going to output that there by joining the variable together. So we do that by using math.pow. Let's check it works. So I'm going to run it. And you can see the CPU is whirling away there. So I'm going to enter the number four. Uh, let's go two, actually. Double of two is four. Two to the power of two is four. Uh, you can see I've got an error here with my string, so I can put that space in there. We're going to do it with number five this time. So that is running. Then over here, it's going to ask me to enter number five. Double of five is 10, five to the power of two is 25. Now, just to finish this video, I'm also going to show you how you can do the square root of something. So I'm going to say squared num equals math dot square root. Okay, power AB is my variable. And I'm going to say console dot right line square root of how a b is, watch what I do here, squared num, let's double check if we get to the value that we need to, and also check your variables, so I'm going to run this now, Enter a number, we're going to go for five again. So we've doubled it, which is 10, but five to the power of two is 25, but the square root of 25 is five. So we can see how those mathematics have worked there. You will need to use both of these in one of the programs that we do in our lesson, which works out the Pythagoras theorem. So see if you can work through these activities. Use this video to help you with some of the maths involved. Good luck.